A more restrictive immigration policy might make a racist happy, but that doesn't mean that having secure borders is racist. That's Chris Kobach, the Secretary of State in Kansas. Kobach is best known for spearheading President Trump's Commission on Election Integrity, an agency that searches for voter fraud cases in the 2016 election. Do you believe People Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three to five million votes? You know, we may never know the answer to that. Fraud? We, we, we will probably never know the answer to that question. But that's just his side hustle. Kobach has been working his way up the Republican ladder for a long time. And now... Today, I'm announcing my candidacy for governor of the state of Kansas. Prior to his career in politics, Kobach attended some of the most illustrious colleges in the world. As a law student at Yale, a fellow schoolmate recounted a vital college debate when Kobach defended California's Prop 187, a poll to block undocumented immigrants from access to state services. Quote, While the other pro-187 debaters were careful to distinguish between the legal and illegal process, Kobach struck me, even then, as far more xenophobic than other Yale conservatives. Um, what I would suggest they do is that they go back to their home country, get in line with the hundreds of thousands of people from their home country who are trying to do it legally. We forget about the people who are, you know, trying to follow but our laws. But these dreamers are here I suggest legally. they try to follow our laws, too. Kobach graduated in 95 and became a law professor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Kobach took a leave of absence when President Bush awarded him a White House fellowship in the Department of Justice in 2001. This gave Kobach his first taste of the world of politics. After the fellowship, Kobach worked under Attorney General John Ashcroft as his chief advisor on immigration and border security issues. Under Ashcroft, Kobach spearheaded the National Security Entry-Exit Registration System, which recorded the arrival, length of stay, and departure of certain individuals from specific countries. The program folded in 2011, but not before registering 93,000 people, none of whom were prosecuted on terrorism charges. But NCRs might be making a comeback. In November 2016, Kobach was photographed with Trump, holding notes he failed to hide. At the very top of the list, update and reintroduce the NSEERS screening and tracking system. In 2011, Kobach became the Secretary of State in Kansas. He garnered many endorsements, namely from the self-proclaimed toughest sheriff in America, Joe Arpaio. And how, uh, why are you a racist against Latinos? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to get into my personal life. Kobach gained national attention for his hardlined outlook on immigration. He was the co-author of SB 1070, a racial profiling law passed in Arizona, which gave police officers the right to pull over anyone who they perceived to be foreign. Kobach crafted another law quickly after securing his new position. He implemented the SAFE Act, a law which aims to combat voter fraud. A recent report shows that the law might be disenfranchising eligible black voters. Kobach has called for the release of Obama's birth certificate. Even after Obama released it, Kobach insisted that he needed additional evidence before he'd allow the former president's name to appear on Kansas's ballot. Love your brother. As Kobach's schoolmate said after witnessing one of Kobach's Yale debates, I remember thinking, this dude is really smart and really scary. Remember his name because he'll be back with a vengeance.